Welcome to Build with Google Cloud, where we create reference architectures. We've all used some sort of social media application for humans, but how cool would it be to create a social media application for pets? In this episode, I've invited Christopher, who built a pet social media on Google Cloud. Hi, Christopher. Hi, Rianka. I'm so excited to share the process of building and deploying the application. Great. So before we dive into how to actually build this pet social media application, why would actually someone want to even build an application like this? Building a social media site can be beneficial in many cases. Maybe you are a business wanting to create a platform to manage your communities. Maybe you, like me, are learning to build impressive projects with Google Cloud. We can showcase your ability to build an end-to-end -end scalable application. I absolutely agree with all both of those use cases. If you are building your cloud portfolio and are ready to show off some of your practical experience, this is a great fun project to take on and put on your resume. Okay, so the first things first, in order to get started with this application, what are some of the challenges that we need to think about? Great question. Building and scaling a social media website can be a tedious task for a developer as the number of users grow. You will have to worry about managing different servers, authentication, handling heavy traffic, network, and database. Don't worry. That's where Google Cloud servers come in to help you worry less about scaling, so you can focus on more on coding. Great. So I'm definitely ready to get started in seeing the process of picking the products. So should we go? Yes. Great. Here are some of the core features that we want to implement in this social media application. Login or create a new account. View news feeds of recommended posts. Follow other users, make a new post, or edit, delete old ones. With that in mind, where do we start? OK, let's say our site is PetSocialMedia.com, a social media website made for pets, and our users are assessing by typing the petsocialmedia.com in the browser. We will use Cloud DNS, short for Domain Name System, to receive the request from the user device and respond back with an IP address to establish a connection to our server. In this case, say you already have your front end ready on the local host. However, to be able to have the site online, you definitely need a server. Minimal functionalities and user may work with the single server. However, when you have more user, you may need to scale it up. Luckily, serverless Cloud Run can handle scaling automatically based on the number of requests or user. So we're choosing Cloud Run here because it is a serverless container platform that scales automatically, and you can easily and automatically deploy to Cloud Run every time you push your commit to GitHub or a code version control of your choice. With Cloud Build, Cloud Build really is a Google Cloud serverless CI CD platform. What happens if our pet social media goes viral and all of a sudden a large number of pets across the globe want to be part of it, Christopher? When our size grows globally, you may want to deploy more than one server from regions closer to the user providing faster connection and better user experience. To handle the traffic, we use Cloud Load Balancer. If a user sends a request from Asia, for example, the Cloud Load Balancer will help send that request to a server in Asia to avoid interruption. You can also use Cloud Load Balancer to handle traffic to different servers if one reaches limit. OK, great. Now we need our users to have a login. How do we set them up for a login? Next, you may want to handle login, create new user with high security level, list time coding, and more functionalities such as signing in with Google or GitHub. This step can be done with identity platform, a customer identity and access management that help organization add identity and access management functionalities to the application, protect user account, and scale with confidence on Google Cloud. 
when you first create your account, you may want to provide user data such as name, type of pass, location, bio, etc. In this example, name, type of pet, location, bio will be treated at relational database. For relational database, this data can be stored locally in systems such as MySQL or PostgreSQL. With Google Cloud, you can replace MySQL or PostgreSQL with Cloud SQL or migrate your existing database to cloud with database migration. So the database migration service lets you transfer your data already into uh, Cloud SQL. And Cloud SQL, the choice of Cloud SQL here is really because it is a managed version of MySQL. So you really don't have to like worry about scaling and replication and Google Cloud does that for you. So now for the actual post, what are the things that we need to consider? I may have images of the pet. May the pet want to say something about that image like tuning at the beach. How do we handle that in the application? When you make a post, there's two main basic attributes you may consider, caption and the media. While the caption is in relational database, post media such as images and videos, however, are treated at non-relational data. If you store the file locally in the cache, Connection to the site will be slow when you have high traffic and many files uploaded. To handle this, we can use cloud storage to store post images or videos. Now, we talked about the global users, and you know this application is pretty popular amongst the global pet community, and we know that network and bandwidth is different in different parts of the world. So how do we handle those challenges? Many of you may have high quality images or videos taken from smartphone or digital camera. Big size images or videos may take longer to be uploaded. To handle this, we can use cloud function, a scalable base at you go function at the server product to help you build and connect event driven services with simple and single purpose code. Cloud function can help reduce the file size before uploading to cloud storage, making it more suitable for viewing purposes. For the caption, you can store the caption in Cloud SQL. You can also utilize caption with machine learning bridge and solution. Some of my favorites are using the translation API to translate the caption if it's in another language. Or you can use recommendation AI to suggest who to follow. You can always train your own machine learning model with Vertex AIs or AutoML. Okay, now let's say I am the pet Simba and I have an account. I hop onto the application. What is my experience like? When you are authenticated, the first thing you want to see is the new fit of post made by user you follow or suggested post made based on your interest. In addition, you may want to see some initial content from the people you follow especially those with many lies or common. This can be easily achieved by Cloud CDN or Content Delivery Network to store the cache of those high interactive posts. Finally, for the following function, you can use pops up to subscribe and send notification every time you get a new follower. Similarly, you can use pops up to send you notification at someone comment on your post Great, so now that we know how and what we need to put together, let's put together what we have built so far. Yes, let me show you. First, you need a front end which can handle basic function on the local host and store images in the local directory. Then, Cloud DNS server will handle requests from your device when you type the size to the browser. Next, you will need to deploy your web app on Cloud Run or App Engine server which can help you scale your app automatically based on requests. You can make use of Cloud Build to automatically deploy your web app through your repo. At this stage, depending on the scale of your site, you may need more than one server and Cloud load balancers to handle traffic between different servers. Then, Cloud Identity Platform can help you authentication processes such as signing in or setting up. After you are authenticated, 
you may want to see the news feed with a cloud CDN will store the top interactive posts from the user you follow at cache. When you make a post, Cloud SQL will help you store information such as caption, post location, etc. While Cloud Storage helps you store media files such as images or videos. At this step, you can use Cloud Function to reduce the file size to make them more accessible. After that, whenever you get a comment on your post or someone follow you, Pops Up will help you subscribe the message and handle sending notification. Finally, there's many use cases for machine learning. You can either use no or low code solution with free chain API such as translation API to translate the post caption if the caption is in another language. Or if you prefer to write your own machine learning model, you can consider to train your model with Vertex AI. Wow, that was a lot and very interesting. If you stuck around this far, then congratulations, you just learned how to build a social media application with Google Cloud. Check out the link in the description to view architecture of this project. There is definitely a lot more to explore, but I am confident that this will get you started. If you like this video, I hope you smash that like and subscribe button to receive more useful content and tutorials on building with Google Cloud.